It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity, and I thought it would be fun to give you an update in the front yard. I thought we'd start here at the tapestry. It is, fall has arrived, nights are cooler, short, days are shorter, and this little tapestry that we did back in when do we do this, guys? Do we do it in May, June, July, August, September? May, April, maybe? Um, it's just, it held up beautifully over the summer. Check out the little millii back here. It's not blooming, but it's as green as grass. And you might note that I took out the attenuatas under the jade. I used them in a project. And I had this incredible rubra violacea cutting sitting in the backyard for the longest time because I had taken it out of the garden and moved some things around and I absolutely adore this aloe so hopefully it will be happy there and root I think it will I have done very little out here I've trimmed the the um yeah what is this guys the elephant food the portulacaria uh, minima. I've trimmed it a couple of times, but beyond that, I mean, look at that Cameronia. Isn't that gorgeous? The Ruchia is tight. I did, I added a couple of little leftover one gallons in here too, because this little area got pretty scorched at one point in the summer. The Aeonium sunbursts are tar starting to perk up. Are yours perking up? Look at that. That's why I love this plant so much. And this ruffled Echeveria gibiflora has just been a champion here in the heat of the summer. It has stayed so beautiful. And all the way down here to this ruchia, I think that we are going to be in for a really, really beautiful fall out here in the front yard. Here's the back. Look at that. It looks so good. You know, in the placement of the Ungelata and the Crassula ovata, Ungi ovata, it's really spot on. Those are going to grow and just be beautiful there. And then I have the one up on top. See right there. Yeah, right there. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with how it's, it's starting to mature. And, you know, it is just looking fantastic. We'll check out the beds over here. This little bed gets quite a bit of shade. So it was extremely happy all summer long. And so it's a little green. A lot of these plants, you know, could be deeper colors if there was more sun, but hey, I'll take it. This is looking great. This is an Echeveria Sahara, and it's under leaves. Let's look here. See all that crunchiness? I need to get out here and remove all of that. There's some babies coming under here. It's time to clean this up very rewarding thing to do too okay I won't bore you with that but um, you can also you know clean off the tips of your of your aloes you know where they where the tips got a little burnt and as far as your blooms on your etchies aphids love the new blooms but I don't see a single aphid on this so I'm gonna let it ride because you know what else loves these blooms are our pollinators and our hummers. So we'll just let those ride. The portulacaria in my pot head looks fantastic. Her hair does not need cut. This mangave racing stripes is really, really happy here in this talavera pot. And then lo and behold, guys, check it out. Oh, so beautiful. This makes my heart so happy. Every time I walk up to the front door, to see this tapestry that I put in last year. It is looking so stinking good. 
and the fountain Ugh. those sedum are really starting to grow aren't they look at that how great that looks I think this is absolutely my favorite plant in this fountain for sure but I've done you know I've reworked it once or twice but I haven't done much it's it's held on really really well then over here you know the cactus euphorbia wall this is also starting to take shape and look really good these were a little on the small side when I planted them but it's been well over a year and they're really starting to take off and this euphorbia trigona which is one of my favorites look how happy it is wow all those leaves on it living its best life and then my lavender lady look at her she's spectacular and then all of my little collectibles my goal was to have you know a whole little row of beautiful collectible plants lining the front entry and my dream has come true shady as this is in here these cactus really do not seem to mind i do spin them from time to time to keep them from you know listing but they're pretty happy look at here how fantastic Ooh, these aeoniums were given to me by a follower aren't they stunning pretty those are they're just so bright and shiny I did notice that my Tradescantia is being eaten by worms though it's gross see all this little black stuff down here that's worm poop Ugh, I don't it's probably a pretty decent sized worm on here too and I'm not going to try to find it but what I am gonna do because I think, you know, Tradescantia is very much a warm season grower. And here in San Diego, sorry guys, I'm trying to hold the phone and do this at the same time. Here in San Diego, it's going to be warm for a couple more months. So I think I can cut this back really, really hard. Get all of that off. And I think that this plant will still make a solid comeback before cold weather strikes. I'll also spray this with some ortho home defense. Kill whatever's on it. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, yuck. So don't be afraid with your Tradescantia to go back you know really hard it will bounce right back I promise this one does not like cold weather but I have enough I absolutely have enough going on in here with all the Sansevieria and the Aeonium uh, that I don't need you know I don't need this purple all the time it's still a beautiful pot Every maintenance we do where there's Sansevieria, I take a piece or two to add to this pot. I love it. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, that's my story. I'm really happy with the garden. Now that it's cooled down, I don't have nearly as much to do. Summer was clutch your pearls time, wasn't it? This, uh, this guy, oh God. I took so much off of this a couple of months ago and I need to do it again. It's eating the house. I've got a big blue flame under there that will go into an installation at some point when I find the right home for it. Uh, but this just, in my opinion and in the opinion of my neighbors, looks a lot better when it's thinned a bit. So we'll, <laughs> I'll get back after that uh, ASAP. So just wanted to check in. I love you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the front yard and I hope that everything is growing great in your yards. Talk to you soon. Bye.